Welcome back, party people. This is the Ohio Pizza Party. It's V and Z. Today, we're at Brevoort Park, about five minutes up Indianola Avenue, just north of Studio 35 Cinnamon Draft House. It's called Fibonacci Pizza. It just opened a few months ago in late 2019, and it is already a hit in Clintonville. Studio 35 has been a theater in that same location since 1938. Little known fact, it was the very first theater in the United States to get a license to sell alcohol. So Clintonville is putting it on the map for drinking at movies. Very first, number one. Owners Eric Brimbeck and Rita Volpe bought this place back in 2012 and, and since then have transformed it into one of the coolest places in Columbus by far. It has two screens to watch movies, a bar with 40 beers on tap, a huge whiskey selection. Also, guess what? You can get pizza now and watch a movie. I mean, you can't get any better than that. All right, guys, here we are. We're gonna get into the crust review. I will say very, very pleased, very, very impressed. Throughout all the pizzas that we've got, they're all got some nice little air bubbles on them. You can see that they have a char to it. You can also see that it's very light. You can taste that it's a fresh dough, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. What about you, V? Yeah, and it's got the char on the bottom, too. It's, it's that perfect Neapolitan style. Yeah, uh, I would definitely say that. I also like the fact that the toppings go to about a half inch away from the crust, so that when you get that last bite, the sauce is also just kind of riding along the edge of the true. crust, so your last bites are always just a little bit of cru crust and a little bit of sauce. The dough was thicker than we anticipated, because we were like, oh, I can easily eat a whole one of these, because we're thinking of like a thinner style Neapolitan style, but it's mm -hmm. actually a little thicker. Sauce. Now on to the sauce. Um, I would probably say for the sauce, not too spicy, not too garlicky, um, but a nice compliment to the pizza, um, especially with the Neapolitan, like getting that char. Um, you can tell in the sauce that they definitely have some spices in there. So it's pretty flavorful, um, but not overpowering. Yeah. What would you say? They put the sauce in all the right spots. It's not too thick on there. It's not too thin, you know, and it comes right out to the edge of the crust and it kind of peeks out past the cheese. Oh yeah. And it's that nice little finish. Topping. All right, so now on to toppings. toppings. Very impressed with the toppings as well. We got a decent amount of toppings throughout all of our pies. The Kimura, which is their supreme. The pepperoni, the sausage, yes. the peppers, the onions, the mushrooms. The bacon, also I'm yes. proud of the bacon. The bacon just kind of is in there a little bit, but man, it's, it's so smoky and it's so good. It is a nice yeah. little surprise, gives you that crunch as well too. Yep. I was really impressed with that. I would say for the Izo sausage, it's got so much flavor and it's cut mm. almost like the same, like very thin, like the pepperoni, so that mm -hmm. was just different. And now coming over to the hot swarm, I mean, the Izo pepperonis, the char uh, on the pepperonis. Yeah, the cup and char, where it cups those little bits of honey uh, and, and, uh, and grease inside of them. It just complements the char of the fresh dough, yep. the Neapolitan style that they make. I mean, you can tell that it's just in the oven, out of the oven, mm -hmm. no more than probably 10, 12 minutes. Yep. Um, also, for the toppings, I have to give a shout out to their locally um, homemade hot honey drizzle. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah, I know it's v, got good v, heat. you like that that heat yeah, and it definitely brought it to you. Yeah, it got good heat with the pepper flakes they put on it. it it's hot and it's it's sweet and I, I just I love it. I'm just so good. And the ricotta cheese, don't forget about the ricotta oh, cheese. Oh yes, yes. It's sprinkled on here and there, but it's just very good when you hit like those little bits mm. of ricotta. It's just yeah, it's perfect. The vegan chorizo I and mean, just the regular cheese that we had. The cheese is fantastic. Mozzarella, provolone mix, yep. and the vegan chorizo, I mean, was a yes. very nice surprise. Very, good. very, very good without all of that grease yeah. that comes with it. I can't wait to go That'd back. Be great. I yeah, know that. I That's for sure. Pro tip, we found out. OPP, pro tip. OPP, <laughs> you know me. Get the pizza bread. You can also get the chor vegan chorizo on the pizza on bread as well. Pizza. Yeah, the pepperoni bread. Definitely do that. If I go again, I'm not leaving that place yeah. without the pizza bread and the vegan treat. We well, have people all around us, like just kind of looking at us like we're weirdos. I mean, don't watch me watch TV. Right. This is pay per view. <laughs> you gotta pay for this. <laughs> Actually, no, it's all free. It's right on the YouTube. You don't have to pay. Subscribe <laughs> now. Subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash it. Oh. 
overall, I would give this pizza on a whole 8.5. It's fantastic. It's so good. It's up there with the best Neapolitan styles in Columbus, in my opinion. I would have to agree as well. I mean, I would give it a solid 8.4. Um, just consistent throughout all the pies. All of them, great flavor. Um, each to their own within the different toppings, different cheeses. Very, very impressed. Yes. Um, Fibonacci's you did a great job. Yeah. Um, and you definitely will see us again. Yeah, for sure.